D in New York, it's time to rewind. Ooh. Hello to everyone. So uh, today, I mean Friday, I keep saying today. Um, Friday, I got this realistic model 72 VCR. There is actually an act. There's an actual model number on the back. Let's see if I can get it for you. Um, according to the back, the model number is 16. Six five three sixteen six five three. If you want to know the full model number, now you see, okay. Now let me show you the front before I go into other any other detail. Has a transparent door. That's pretty nice. V VHS digital special effects. I do not know what it does. If anyone knows, please let me know. Here's the standard functions here. And the extra functions here. Here's the other functions. I mean, this is a two head model VCR. The digital special effects doesn't mean there's an extra head on there. Now let's take a look at the inside. <coughs> this is a rebadged Sharp machine. They are pretty reliable, but most when I come across these, every time I come across a uh, Sharp VCR with this mechanism, the rubber tire is always worn. But I replaced it with a tire that's not the original size, but it can, but it works enough to reverse. I mean, rewind and fast forward to the end and beginning without any problems. It can forward search, but it cannot reverse search, and I'll and I'll show you why in a little bit. And I, yep, this is the re replacement idler tire. If you see like um a shiny substance on it, that's because I put some belt conditioner on it which should work with rubber parts as well um so uh i would i'm not gonna try and put it on the pinch roller but i will try and just at least put it on the uh rubber tire and belts i mean uh, it's better than using rubber renew because i heard that stuff is actually pretty toxic and it could give you cancer according to a video i watched so i'm not but i'm not gonna bother try and use that so I'm using a non-toxic version of it, which is just belt conditioner. And, I, and so far, this works a whole lot better than... I mean, this works. Not a whole lot better, but this works good. Because I tried it on the original tire, and it seems to work as well. And... This cassette carriage is separate. I mean, I mean, it uses a diff a separate motor to drive it instead of the loading motor, unlike other VCRs. Some older VCRs had a cassette had a cassette carriage motor to to drive a cassette carriage, and I greased every gear on there as possible. One gear has been greased. There's more gears underneath here that's been greased. And, uh, I, what? Tape's not going in. Hold on. Power on. Turns on. Still won't go in. Hmm, what's wrong? Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Maybe if I hold on to this switch here, it might go in. It uses a separate switch. It uses a switch to activate it. So if the top of the cassette... This part of the cassette will hit the switch, and it will trigger the motor. So that's pretty nice. But I, uh, you know, yeah. Pinch roller um, seems to be a little dirty, but it's still in good shape. I mean, it's not in the best shape, but it's in good shape. I don't. It's not hard as plastic. I can feel some rubber on there. 
And, um, and so, yeah, let's take a look at the VCL. Yeah, let's into the cassette. Oh. Oh, hold on. One more thing. There's a belt driven loading mechanism here that you can't see the worm gear from here. But you can see some other gears down there. But you can see them better on the bottom side. I had to replace this belt. It might seem easy, but it's actually slightly hard because this plastic is in gets my hand in the way. Get, will get my hand in the way. But there is a few screws I could take off to lift the chassis up, which I have done, and it was extremely easy for me to replace that belt. Or, you could do it the hard way, and try to use, like, tweezers to replace the belts, but I, I prefer to use, prefer to take off the cassette ch the chassis, be instead of getting my hands caught. So, um, and I don't know why that, there's an extra, there's a hole there in the chassis. I don't know why, but it's always nice to know. My theory is that this V, um, maybe Sharp was trying to operate it with a separate capstan motor. I could be wrong, but I'm not sure. I mean, that's a good ex explanation because most, most of the older VCRs, capstan motors were in, were right here instead of being direct driven. Fair enough. Now let's see the mechanism in action. There's a tab in this cassette, so it won't load automatically. I have to press play first. So it can play fine. For a search fine, no problems. But when I press reverse search, watch over here. it will spill tape out so I stopped it before it could do any damage but there's nothing important on this cassette so that's so it's not it doesn't really matter anyway put it back in the play I do have the I do have a sharp VCL remote. Actually, I have two of them. The one I had when I I had this chassis before, and the uh, and on that one the remote was compatible with that one. But on this one it isn't. But I do have another sharp VCR that could um only operate the play the basic feet functions play fast forwards. You know what they are. So, and uh, I think I would have to set up everything else on the VCL, such as the clock or whatnot. Because look over here. Set the clock manually on the VCR instead of using a remote. Yep, it's playing just fine, no problems at all. No tape being crunched. No tape stabilizer. Very quiet machine. That drum was quiet. So stop. Okay, now I'll fast forward. It's an eighties machine. So it's not pretty fast, not fast at all. I mean, it's not fast. And I think there was a manufacturing date on this machine, but I'm not quite sure. Let me, um, take a look on the back and see if there is a manufacturing. Yes, there is. June of 1988. So this VCR is actually 30 years old 
so it just turned dirty recently. Well, that, well about four months ago. <laughs> so yes, it's thirty years old. Again, these VCRs were quite reliable. It's just a tire that gets worn out a lot. So we wind. The wind works too. Stop. And we will eject. Oh, by the way, let's take a look at the loading mechanism here. Gear set, gear set here. Come on, why does this light have to do this? See here, okay. So, yes. Now, let's go on to the bottom side. Now the VCI is on the bottom, now I can show you the bottom side. So it's not really interesting on the bottom side, but uh... It's pretty basic. Not really interesting on the bottom. So, yeah, but uh... I replaced the belt as well, and surprisingly, the original capstan belt was still in pretty good shape. And it wasn't really that deformed. But still, it's always a very good idea to replace, put new belts on, no matter how old they are. So, look at this. Has very good elasticity. More grease on the gears. Of course, I put those on. And this VCI is extremely, it's extremely hard to clean the mode switch. You want to know where it is? It's, it's somewhere under one of the cam gears. Good luck with that, if you know how to fix VCRs. Unless if you're good with timing, finding the timing marks on those. And, uh... Let's take a look at the bottom side. Alright, let's press play. You can see one of the cam gears turning, but it's a dual cam, it's a double cam system. And you can see it's turning well. Stop. And fast forward. It's working just fine. Mechanics over here. Hold on. We just get this light in here. And here we go. Oops, wrong button. Nothing too crazy going on. Oh shit. Hold on, emergency jet. Oh, oh, I see what happened. No wonder why people say it's not a good idea to operate VCRs upside down. So, that's kind of, so I, I'll just use a cassette with no tape. Right. Now let's take a look at this. Stop. Well, of course, it's gonna turn. I didn't press the wine. It's just there's no tape on in this cassette. 
You see a little bit of the cam, get one of the cam gears here. So, uh, let's take a look here. You wanna know what a worm gear is? Well, there it is. It's right there. Oops. Yep. Alright, I'm now I'm gonna show you the picture quality on this machine. Let me just reassemble this. Alright, so I just hooked up my VCR to the TV, and uh, I'm going to press play. And this is why I meet him for the first time. And the picture is pretty good. That's the legend himself. So yes, the picture is pretty good. It would have been better if it was, you know, if it was a forehead or something. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, feel free to leave a comment. And hit the bell icon once you subscribe so you can get more notifications from this channel. So, um, I'll see you guys later. Always be kind, rewind.